Like I just literally press record. I'm gonna make this video kind of short but not too long but also long enough for YouTube. So hi guys, welcome back to a brand new video. If you're new here, please subscribe and turn on the post notification bell. If you are not new here and you're a regular subscriber and a regular viewer, hi. Hi besties. I've missed you guys. I haven't been here for quite some time but I did post on my Instagram story. If you don't follow me on socials, they will be linked down below. Make sure to give me a follow. That would be nice. And I'll follow. As soon as I upload, I'll follow whoever follows me. Um, so yeah. So this is going to be like a bit of a story time. Like I've mentioned on my Instagram story. Of what happened to my baby. Um, Ginger. The cat that you guys have seen on the channel. I'll upload it. I have a picture. I'll put it here. Um, so she unfortunately passed away. The first of. November of last year, 2023, um, kind of passed away, but kind of put her down because she was really, really sick. Um, I don't know what she had. I wasn't at the vet visits. My daddy was because I had to unfortunately work, so I couldn't be at all her vet visits. But she, apparently, I assume she had some type of cancer or whatever. She, when I knew this time, it was when she couldn't even swallow her food. She was hungry but just couldn't eat. But leading up to that point, if I can remember correctly, it's been like three months. But I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna try my best. I'm gonna try my best to remember small bits of it. So she was as time went on, she started growing a thing under her chin, like a chin was like that that was the first thing, her chin was growing. And I'm sorry we're hearing like children playing it's like literally two kids and they can't play quietly <laughs> so i apologize i close my window now so um she had this i don't know if i can call it a lump but she had this thing under her chin and it was starting to grow and grow and she just one thing she used to cry a lot because she couldn't lay or sleep comfortably with this thing under her chin and then one minute i was just like telling my daddy like take this cat to the bed see what they can do and stuff and they gave my daddy eventually did gave her injection and the thing went away and i was like okay she's perfectly fine she can now sleep comfortably and so forth weeks went by and she started growing a nose and her nose started growing um like big and red i i, I think i have a photo i'm not sure if you don't see a photo near i probably deleted it but i'll try to find one and put it on the screen so she her nose started getting red and that was also another what is happening and then my daddy took her to the vet and i remember my daddy phoning me and bronwyn my sister-in-law was standing next to me right so this day he took her to the vet to see what this red nose business is happening because she sneezed a lot and it wasn't just once or twice or thrice it was like 10 times like you know i'm not gonna do it but like she was just sneezing continuously after each other so my dad took it to the vet, he phoned me and told me that she had like cancer or AIDS or both, I don't know, and they suggested to put her down. And Bronwyn was standing next to me and I'm like literally almost wanted to cry because I didn't think it was, not that I didn't think it was that serious, but I didn't think it was that serious to want to like put her down. I didn't know she was suffering from a disease. So I was like, like. He asked me what 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 should we do because he also didn't want to put the cat down he's a cat lover i'm a cat lover so we didn't know what to do so i'm like i didn't say i could buy it like don't do it just yet like bring her home and um yeah so he brought her home because i was at work and going through that mental state knowing you're going home and your cat isn't gonna be there when you get home it didn't sit right with me so i was like okay and I'm gonna feel chunk because I didn't say goodbye to my cat. So my daddy brought her home and she was fine. She, she could still eat and everything. And then up until like the first of November, I noticed that she couldn't eat her food anymore. She could even she couldn't even drink water. And that was the time my dad was at work and I phoned him and I told him like listen, I think it's that like it was the hardest phone call ever because it's like literally saying it's time for them like, yeah so i still think of it how i felt with that tons of emotions going through me and all that 
and then I told my daddy like, okay, it's, I think it's time. She can't do it anymore. She's just, she's just lumb. Like she don't have energy you know, anymore. And he was like, okay, when it's time, you'll come. And then he told me, okay, I've time. Make her put in a box. Not gonna put in a box. Put in a cage thing because I put her cage just so that my daddy can take her to the vet. So he told me put her in a cage, and I'll let you know when I'm downstairs. And then uh, she was still laying outside. And I'm like, okay, I'm gonna do it. And then I went to the future. And um, I picked it up. And then I walked to the freezer. And I remember I did put the cage on top of the freezer. And I hugged her. And I was like, saying all my goodbyes and all of that. And then my dad was like, I'm downstairs. And he took it down. I took it down. And then, yeah. The rest is history. Um, she took a long drive to the vet, and my daddy came home just with the cage. And I remember when I came back upstairs after handing the cage to my daddy, I found my mommy. My mommy was at my brother's place looking after Allison, and I found my mommy. And I told my mommy, um, we daddy took it to the vet, like they're gonna put it down. And my mommy was like, so, like she wanted the cat to be put down because she doesn't like the cat to suffer and I understood that so I was just very emotional like I didn't cry obviously over the phone but I did have my time so I cried like my heart ached with this poor cat like I literally had this cat for eight to nine years and I love this cat like people used to judge me how much obsessive I was with this cat like you wouldn't even understand how obsessed I was with this cat. Like this cat was my baby. Like people used to tell me, oh I don't like cats. They, like I didn't ask you. So I used to get jumped by people for the, my cat and I used to defend my cat. Like I was literally known in high school for this cat. So yeah, that's what happened to the cat. So now I have this one that came on the fourth, like three days later. My daddy didn't know of him coming, of her coming. Only my mom and knew. So that's one I'll pop up out there. She is a new one that we have. I was always into ginger cats, but I'm like, okay, let me give this one a try. And this one is like, she was cute at first, but now she's so clingy. <laughs> so obviously I enjoy this cat. Like this cat is literally a ray of sunshine, but sometimes I would just like smack him. Like, can't you think? You know, but yeah. So that's about it for the story time but yes guys that's what happened to the cat i am okay i wasn't okay but i am now because i have my support system going through animal death is not the easiest like even watching tiktoks of people posting of their dogs or cats or even a mice dying it's like horrible but yeah that's the end of the story time hope you guys enjoyed that if you guys did, please like, comment, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. I'm going to edit this. Also, in my in my videos, you're going to see my mouth a bit skew, and I hate it so much, but there's nothing I can do. So, yeah. Follow my social media. Okay. Thanks. Okay, bye.